What's up guys, Parkir from VIP Shop Management. Today's uh, video is gonna be tips of the week. Uh, first tip, always help and check for updates. Make sure you're up to date. We are at 5.1.1.76, all right? So let's create a new estimate right here. Um, select that, add a new vehicle right here. I've seen a lot of customers were not even aware like they need to type the license plate up top or the VIN number or scan the VIN number but it, you don't have to type it right here anymore. You still can, but you can type it right here. And you see, look how it types it automatically. Just press enter and it decodes it. Or even the VIN number same way, which is, pretty, uh, this will help a lot. If I type it, it types it automatically and press enter. So you can even, you can scan the VIN number from here or from here, or type the license plate from here or from here. It doesn't really matter, which is a cool uh, feature. Um, it should pick it up, select customer instead. All right, let's get to here. If you want to list uh, parts so quickly, uh, like like an estimate so quickly and get the prices later, you can do that. So let's say customer needs brake pads, right? Brake pads, so I can come in here, brake pads. He needs the front, press enter, brake pads, and he needs the rear, press enter. Let's say he needs uh, AC recharge, um, my bad. AC recharge or AC, let's say AC compressor, press enter. Why is that cool? Basically, it's listing it automatically. And when you want to get any parts, all you have to do is just select the job and go to, let's say, part stack and, and transfer it and delete it. So it's, it's as simple as that. So brake pads, let's get it real quick. Um, rear, it's right there. Add. So yeah, it's really important to select uh, the job. That way when we transfer, it transferred it to that job. So all you have to do in this case, right, just lift it up and delete the, the, the basically just the listing one. And click on the labor and it's going to remind you from your last entry or if you have, or you can change that. You press update. So you can do that. Um, what else I want to talk about? Okay, so the main thing is right here. We change the view here. When you click on something now, you, all you have to do is just wait, let it load. So if I click on that, I see how it says, which, which is pretty cool. Before people were clicking on this and then clicking on this, it was horrible, especially if you have a slow computer. Now you click on it and wait till it loads. Um, if you want to change the status, always click on hold and it brings it right here. You can assign the technician. You can even show in tech mode. Just stay on hold and change the status from here. So you can assign technician and change the status from right here. The most important one was when I have this estimate right here open, right? Say I'm working on this estimate. Somebody walked in or, so, or I needed to go to, you know, reports for some reason and, and check something. But I need to go back to that estimate. Instead of start looking at which one I was working on, it's going to always remind you right there. Last estimate. Just click on it and it loads it again. So this will be always the last estimate or the last invoice you're working on right here. So I can go back, just click on last invoice, which is pretty cool. So that will help you a lot. You don't have to worry about leaving that estimate or leaving that invoice when needed. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is, let's come over here. Um, when under diagnosis, the AI, you know, it wasn't working probably for the last two days because we have to update it to the um, ChatGPT 3.5. Um, but this one works even better. Let's check it out. Let's say um, vehicle vehicle needs uh, spark plugs or even better, spark plugs. Uh, plugs are worn out and need to be replaced so you have two options right here remember spell and check if you just want to spell check and correction and, and fix the grammar just click on it or just click say click on generate professional rewrite we're gonna we can test both and see how that works so click on that and it, it's really good man this is just some professional stuff after inspecting the vehicle our highly trained technician has determined that the spark plugs are significantly wore out. The, th the GPT 3.5 is a lot smaller than the previous one, so remember that. So let's let's mess with it. Let me copy this here, X and do 
and you just want to check the the spelling check so let's mess up responsible determine just a couple things right AI generate uh, spell check and correction all right determined right there responsible right there it's all fixed all right perfect so it's really really smart really really this is chat gpt all right let's look at recommendation right here and see let's say vehicle needs uh, four new tires and wheel alignment and let's just ai generate professional text you get definitely got a lot better i can tell right away it's not our technician evaluation. It's recommended that your vehicle is equipped. And it tells you why. Like, you know, reduce fuel efficiency and all that, which is really, really cool. Um, uh, when they switch to ChatGPT4, we'll switch to that. But until next time, thanks for watching.